day and i hope you guys are having an amazing day as usual <laughs> i say on my gaming show channel all the time so for today's live stream we are going to be doing whim stop yes i got whim stop today so for this you know much fun i just picked up a simple meal truck was going to join me for this one but he didn't get enough sleep last night so he's at home taking a nap so it's just going to be me today um but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So here's the wing step thing I got. Drum roll. What could I have gotten? I ended up getting the six piece bonus wings meal with some veggie sticks, which includes carrots and celery and also some ranch. So, and the wings flavors are garlic parmesan and lemon pepper, which is like two of my favorite um, flavors for chicken wings. So are you guys ready? Let's get started. Hi, guys. So, yeah, I wanted to get something other than fries for the um, food today. So, we're going to try a little bit of this ranch. So, it's a ranch right there. Looks real good, don't it? Now, I haven't had Wingstop in two or three years. Last time I had Wingstop, it was a different location. And I got kind of sick from there. <laughs> so, I've been kind of nervous about trying wing stuff again but this is a different wing stuff so it's not the same one so hopefully this one will be better the service was good and the food looks and in, in, you know, fresh and stuff so i don't know if you guys can see that let's try a bite mm. that goes really good yeah, I think next time I will get their voodoo fries, but I've had so much in the way of fries lately that I wanted to get something different. Chuck's at home. He's taking a nap right now. He didn't sleep all last night. Mm. Kind of stringy. Hmm. Then I forgot him. Yeah. Luckily, I got some napkins. <laughs> Because they did not give me napkins for that. So anyway, how's y'all Monday doing? How you doing today? <laughs> that is nothing. So I'm gonna put this to the side for right now. So let's go ahead and dig into some of the chicken wings. So I want to try. The chicken wing first without ranch and then try it uh, with ranch it is about 1202 here it's like noon lunchtime 12 p.m so this is lemon pepper and boneless chicken wing there looks really good so cheers oh that is good the chicken likes cooked too you know, I could use another cup of coffee. <laughs> I need coffee. I only had six hours of sleep last night myself. So let's try this a uh, little bit dipped in ranch. You can see right there. Mm-hmm. Wow. That is good. Absolutely good. Now let's see. I'm going to try a carrot. I'm going to use a carrot. The white van on the corner looks so shading. Oh, and talking about that one back there? Hmm. Don't worry. I got my door. You know, I got my doors locked. Don't worry. I might have to turn the car on in a few minutes because I don't want you know, the phone to get too hot again. Hmm. So let me do that. Got them. They're going in here. Hopefully, you guys can still hear me. It's 80 something degrees outside today, so this car could overheat pretty quickly. Well, it looks really good. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Hmm. Pretty good, Kurt. Let's see. Let's try 
garlic parmesan. You see right here. So yeah, lemon pepper and garlic parmesan are like my favorite for chicken wing flavors. Um, it's not oiled all the time. So it looks like inside looks good. Oh, thank you for telling me. Thank you, Josh. That's good. So, I'm going to keep an eye and make sure over the next day that I don't get sick <laughs> otherwise. Because I remember last time I ate Wingstop, it took me about a day before I started getting really sick. So, I'll have to keep an eye. But, I mean, I don't see any reason why I'd get sick. This chicken looks cooked. It looks good. It tastes good. I mean, yeah. So, I'm definitely going back to this location again. Aww. Um, happy birthday, Scarlett. I hope you have an amazing day. Thanks, Francisca. I appreciate that. Oh, boy. But, yeah, I'm actually part... Let me show you guys real quick where I'm at. So yeah, that's the van over there that looks so mysterious. <laughs> but I'm actually in front of Walmart today. I'm gonna be doing some grocery shopping there um, and just uh, right after I get through doing this live stream. I'll do our, uh, you know, grocery shopping every few days. But yeah, that's where I'm at, if you wanna know. Alright, let's have, so that's all I got left. So yeah, I just ordered the six piece uh, boneless wing meal. So I just got, you know, I, one of the smaller meals. I'm going to go ahead and take off uh, this thing right here. Am I an introvert? I feel like I'm kind of a, a mixture in between that. I do like getting out and socializing. Um, so I guess you could kind of say like I'm an extrovert in some senses, but there are some days too that I just kind of wish I could, you know, just stay home and stuff like that. So I'm kind of a mixture between introvert and extrovert. Aw, me too, Nugget. The weather has been really good here the last few days. It's been really hot. And ambervert. What is that? So yeah, but... Um, the weather here has been pretty good the last few days. It's just been uh, kind of hot. But um, last week we had two or three days where we had like a bunch of rain and stuff like that. So it got kind of like hot in that sense. I'm going to point the camera a little bit more down so you guys can see. There we go. What is my favorite food? My favorite food is either um, sushi or Indian food. I love uh, both. Like if I could have like those every day I would. Moment. Oh. Okay. I never heard of that word. What is my favorite video that I made? Um. Gosh, like. Probably some of the older videos and stuff that I did. Of course, videos with sushi and stuff too. Those are typically my favorite ones to make. Mac and cheese with chicken tenders. I love those too. My birthday is uh, December 7th. No, it's like all the way in December. Thank you, I appreciate it. There you go. This ranch is good. Like, absolutely. Aww. Me too. Um, I hope to maybe see Papa Elmer sometime next month. I'm maybe planning to go go up to see him. Maybe we can do a video together. Was there a food you tried for ASMR that you wouldn't eat again? Um, if there is, I can't really think of what it would be at the moment, but I'm sure that there is, like, somewhere along the line. Maybe, like, some sort of, um, I think it was, like, some sort of sweets or something. I mean, I don't know. Are you planning to travel anywhere abroad? I still do have hopes um, one day to go to London. I'd like to go to France, Germany, Korea, Japan, you know, all those. I'd like to travel the world, basically. So, hopefully. 
Did you go to college? Yes. I actually did for a little while and I took two courses. So, but I didn't finish college, but I did take some college. How did I meet Chuck? We met on a dating site called eHarmony. Good. I still think that if I had to pick a favorite vegetable out of this, it would definitely be carrots because you know, celery is just kind of a bit screeny and it's like kind of gets stuck. It's okay. <laughs> what is my favorite Indian food? Hmm. My favorite Indian food probably would be like butter chicken. I like samosas, naan, uh, mango lassies. I also like paneer uh, dishes as well um chicken chicken masala all that stuff i love a lot of different kinds of indian food what classes did i take i took a language and a math class what was something that stood out about chuck um i don't know at the time there was something about him that was like really charming and stuff like he seemed like really down to earth and friendly and we had a lot of things in common and stuff like that we still do so but it's just kind of like that that attracted me to him you know if you had gone to university, what degree have you chosen to do? Um, I was studying nursing at the time, but honestly, thinking about it now, I don't really think I would have had enough of an interest in that. But I was going for nursing at the time, but honestly, I don't know what I would have taken. Uh, thank you. Are you planning on getting a pet? Um, somewhere along the line, I would like to get maybe like a dog or a cat, most likely a cat, but Evan loves dogs, so just whatever he wants to get. What is something you admire about Chuck now? Well, one thing that I do admire about him is how hard of a worker he is to try to do his best to help, um, provide for the family and stuff like that. And, um, even, you know, besides being in the videos and stuff with me, you know, just the, the job and stuff that he does, um... And all the effort that he puts into it really just kind of amazes me every day. So, yeah. They say when you eat carrots, they make your eyesight better. Do you think that's true? I have heard some rumors about that, but I wouldn't even personally know, you know? I don't know if that would be true or not. Explain my work ethic. Well, basically, for my schedule right now, I post three times a week on the ASMR channel and then two times a week on the eating show channel. So, you know, today is one of my eating show days. But typically, I film like four days a week and four or five days a week. And then I have like a couple days, like I just take off and just don't, don't really film anything. But sometimes, excuse me, but sometimes I might film a short or something. How tall are you? I'm five foot four. Is Chuck still doing his book channel? Uh, sadly not. Um, he kind of just decided to not really like focus on that anymore for a bit. He's got a lot of other things on his plate right now and it's totally understandable. So maybe he might do that later. But yeah. But maybe he might do that later. But yeah, I don't know. But right now, he's just got a lot of other stuff on his plate, you know. It's going good. Um, He's still writing book two. I'm going to turn the car on again. What am I eating? I'm eating a four-piece boneless chicken. Uh, not four-piece, six-piece boneless chicken meal with some veggie stucks from um, Wingstop. Is Chuck watching the live stream from home? I don't think he is because he's taking a nap right now. He did not sleep very well last night. He's had a lot of issues sleeping lately and it's sort of concerned me. So I'm hoping that maybe he can catch up on some rest. Oh yeah, these are good. Let's see if I can pull them down just a little bit so you guys can see them. 
why did I stop uploading? Honestly, I was I felt like I was getting overworked in a sense because I was literally filming something every single day. So I thought to myself, you know, if I could somehow make my video quality better, I could probably, you know, post a bit less often so I can have more time to focus on making better videos for you guys and stuff like that. So that's why I'm posting a bit less now on the ASMR channel. Evan has a really charming, sweet, outgoing personality. He loves everybody. He is friendly with everybody. I mean, Josh, like, he's got one of the most sweetest, caring hearts that I know of um, personally and stuff like that. What car do I have? I have a Ford Fusion. It tastes really, really good. This is really, really good. Your video quality was good before, but even better now. Thank you. I appreciate that. This is a Samsung um, Galaxy S20 5G. So it's one of those you know, Android phones. Oh, uh, thank you. Um... I don't plan to have Evan come back on camera for quite a while, so we're just trying to protect his um, safety and stuff for the time being, but maybe when he's much older. How often do you post on your other channels? I post three times a week on this, uh, on the ASMR, twice on this one, and about a few times on the gaming channel, so quite busy. What advice would you give someone starting a YouTube channel? Honestly, the biggest, best advice I could probably give somebody is to do what you love doing, be consistent. Like, if you start developing a consistent pattern of, like, your content, what you're uploading, when you upload and stuff, you can build your audience from that. But just be yourself. Like, don't worry about what other people think about you. Just be yourself. Like, people are really attracted to that, you know? I'll tell her I said hi. Thanks, Nicola. How do I not gain? Well, simply put, I, I don't know if you guys will see on Instagram, but I work out. I lift weights and I do cardio. So yeah, I keep in shape. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> wow, this dips down some ranch. This is lemon pepper. That was good. Have I ever collected anything? Back when I was younger, I used to collect a lot of rocks because I was fascinated with paleontology and stuff like that. So I guess you could say I used to collect rocks because I would see like little shells and fossils in them and stuff like that. Let's see. What singers or bands do you listen to? Mainly um, anything 80s rock. I like some of the new stuff too, but mainly like 1960s, 1980s style music. Um, I know, like. The next food race is going to be Spring Rolls ASMR, which you guys voted for. Do you have a job outside YouTube? I would rather not answer that right now. Um, let's see. What do your fans call you? Um, it's like, you know, call me Crystal or Chris. What is Chuck's favorite food? Honestly, Gosh, like, he loves palak paneer, Indian food. He loves Indian food. He loves tuna melts. Um, he loves omelets. All that stuff. Oh, that's awesome. I'll uh, see you later. What is my skincare routine? I honestly don't even have one. I don't use, like, lotions or anything. I just, you know, use some makeup for my eyes and that's it. Can you do more family mukbangs with Evan? Not for right now. Maybe like say a long time from now, but not right now. Is there any food that I don't like? Well, raw onions for sure. <laughs> mustard. I typically do not like to have mustard on my burgers or hot dogs or anything like that. You know, I do it sometimes, but it's just not preferable. But I hate raw onions. I hate them. Um, what do you do in your spare time? Um, typically I like you know. Spend some time with Evan, uh, take him to school, pick him up, clean the house, do some YouTube work, 
and um, you know just all the, like the daily stuff that you um, see and involve the life of a mom basically let's see one moment <clears throat> do I ever get stuck for ideas for what to eat video I do sometimes but you know I could I typically try to think the best, best of my ability that I can but I do get stuck sometimes how long does it take to edit videos? Well, I'll tell you, since I started doing, you know, better quality videos, it's taken a lot longer. Typically, an eating show for me takes about an hour and a half or two hours just for one video. <laughs> the ASMR videos take about 45, 30 to 45 minutes per video. So, yeah, quite a bit of time. Do you like Michael Jackson? Absolutely. I love his music, absolutely. My favorite, one of my favorite songs by him is uh, "Beat It." <laughs> what is your go-to meal? My go-to meal typically is like a protein smoothie. Uh, if I can't, you know, think of anything else, I make real quick. I just make a protein smoothie. Oh, uh, I appreciate that. I thank you, Army Blink. Favorite fast food place? Mine is Chick Fil A. Gosh, that it used to be, um, you know, Subway, but honestly, I haven't liked them as much as I used to. I kind of feel like now I, it's McDonald's. <laughs> we all like McDonald's. Mhm. Mm sir. How long have you been doing your makeup? Um, I've been doing it like this for probably a few years now because I actually used to put eyeliner on my bottom eyelids too. And someone told me one time that it wasn't necessary. And I did agree. Like, they kind of just like, yeah. So I took that advice and I just started applying eyeliner to the top lid and that uh, does look better. Hi, everybody, and thank you. Coke or Pepsi? Honestly, neither, because I don't even drink sodas anymore. Uh, I haven't had one of those in years, literally. What country do you want to visit? I first want to visit London. I want to visit England first. That's been a dream, basically, for most of my life. I've been wanting to go to London. I keep having to turn on this car. Hello from the Netherlands. How do you deal with the hate? How do you cope? Have you changed the way you deal with it? Honestly... I just ignore it because you know they're doing their thing and I do my stuff as long as they don't mess with my family and my personal life directly then you know they, they're afraid to do what they want to do but my best like react you know I don't even react to it now because there's just no reason to I'm trying to you know live my life the best that I can and do the best that I can for myself and Evan and my family so you know, I just don't deal with it. They do what they do, and I do what I do, you know? And that's honestly the best thing you can do, is just ignore it. There's no reason to react. Thank you, I appreciate it. Let's see, what time? It is noon. Hello from the Netherlands. You are so pretty, thank you. Coffee or sweet tea? Definitely sweet tea lately because it's been so hot. Are you still interested in ancestry as a hobby? I do it on, on some days, but not as much as I used to. Have you ever seen a live performance or concert of Michael Jackson? I've seen him in videos, but I never have been to a live concert myself because, yeah, so. But I've wanted, I wanted to, but yeah. Sushi or Indian food? I don't know, it's a hard choice. What made you start YouTube? That's a long story, I might discuss that later on. Hello from England. Do you get angry easily or are you more calm? I typically try to stay calm as long as I can. There's no really reason to get angry or snappish at somebody. So, yeah. I have so many questions. Let's stop trying to answer them all. Ah, uh, thank you, Sheila. I appreciate that. Moment. Favorite ice cream flavor? Honestly, for me, anything with chocolate or cookies and cream is usually really good. Um, although Evan loves homemade vanilla, and he does not like chocolate ice cream for some reason. <laughs> oh, but he always wants me to get him homemade vanilla, you know? 
That is totally understandable. Who or what makes you laugh the most? Honestly, truck or oven. They always bring a smile on my face and make me laugh. Maybe oven because it's like, I remember taking him on, on the way to school this morning. He just kept having a, a smile on his face in the back seat. I was looking at him in the rear view mirror and I just couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> oh man. What flavor did I get? I got lemon pepper and garlic parmesan. Uh, no. Um, yeah, this is live. Favorite dish to get at Ikea? Honestly, I don't really ever go to Ikea. Um, but I've heard that the meatballs, the Swedish meatballs and stuff there are pretty good. No, I didn't get fries. I just got veggie sticks. One moment. Would you ever consider trying Jewish foods? Sure, absolutely. I'd love, love to try that. How are his grades going? He is getting, he's doing good. He's doing great in school and he's doing good. He's doing amazing. What are some of the most important values and principles that guide your decisions and actions? Honestly, I feel like patience because um, to me, I really believe in good things come to those who wait. Like, you know, it's really good to be patient just to wait for something. It might not happen the way you want to at first, but later on, you know, it might you know become better your way. Just to try to be patient. I think that's an important value. It's a lot, a lot of, you know, need a lot of patience. But, you know, they gave me, um, well, they gave me six wings. Like, I got six wings. What did you get to drink? I didn't get anything to drink today. I wasn't thirsty. I had, I've had a lot to drink this morning already. Would you ever consider doing a Ikea for mukbang ASMR? Sure. Absolutely. I'd like to try that. No, I'm not hot with the beanie. Hi, guys. Uh, But yeah, this is good. Absolutely, yeah. Look at that. Why don't I wear that rain anymore? Simply put, it's not that I don't want to wear it. I put it away somewhere for safekeeping because I just, it's a rain that I really treasure. I just don't want to lose it. Like, what if it accidentally slips out of my finger, off my finger one day? So I just don't want to lose it. I want to, you know, be keeping that rain. When you watch you try to record videos, do you get the giggles? Sometimes we do. Sometimes we do. Like, say if Chuck might accidentally, like, drop something or whatever like that. So, yeah. What is it like sharing a birthday with Chuck? It's actually really cool. Because, like, I don't have to, you know, I don't have trouble remembering his birthday. Because, like, it's not my birthday. We both have the same birthday. So, yeah. Do you have more kids in the future? I would, you know, I'm not going to answer that right now. Am I going to vote this year? Probably not. Can you do a Chipotle burrito mukbang? I was actually thinking about filming one later this week. Absolutely, sure. Absolutely. Will you ever do a live stream with your husband? Like I said, I was planning to do this with him today at home, but he needs to take a nap, so I'm doing this myself. But hopefully next live stream, uh, we were going to do one together. Yes. Can you share an example of a situation where you had to make a decision based on my values? Um, I can't really think of one right now, so yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. But yeah, what is your favorite thing to get at Wingstop? Let me know in the comments. What? He's at home. Let's see. Who 
you guys should try tropical smoothie. I actually have tried them before, and they got really good smoothies. I like the um, green smoothie that they have. Do I have a favorite girl name? If I if I had ever had a girl, I would have named her Melody Grace. Um, Melody is one of my favorite songs. It's the name of one of my favorite songs, and Grace is an honor of my uh, grandma's middle name. Her name was Grace. Middle name was Grace. What do you like more, Wingstop or Buffalo Wild Wings? Personally, actually, I'm liking this more. This tastes really good. If you could travel back in time and give advice to your younger self, what would you say? Well, I would definitely tell her to be strong because you're going to go to and fight through a lot of things in life. But the best thing you can do is stand your ground and just be strong and fight against say, whatever comes your way. You know, a lot of times when I was younger, I wish I had been like, you know, stronger of a person. But, you know, that's in the past and you can't change the past, but you can change the present and the future. So that's what I got to focus on right now. But yeah. What happened to the Discord that discussed Chuck's novel? Personally, I don't even know. I really don't know. <laughs> so I got two more. Now I go ahead and wrap it up after that. Have I heard um, her new song? Not really. I have been seeing it a lot on uh, TikTok though. But yeah, always oh, really good. Do I have siblings? Yes, I do. <laughs> that one came apart. Exactly, Melissa, exactly. Can you sing a line of your favorite song, please? I'm kind of shy about that, honestly. Can you take a shopping with you in Walmart? That would be cool. I might do that at a, for a future video, but I'm not sure if I'd be able to because they are pretty strict about um, store policies where you can't film inside the store and stuff like that. Like, the pictures and stuff that you see on Instagram, like little videos and stuff, I have to make really quick to make sure that I don't get cut because I'm not sure if you're actually allowed to film in Walmart. They have a really strict policy about that. Have you ever tried in and out I've wanted to, but they actually don't have one in Memphis. They don't have one in Tennessee. But they need to build one, right? You need traveling vlogs. Yeah, I agree. I would love to travel one day. Is cheese life? Mm, it can be. Just depends on what kind of cheese it is. Oh, thank you, Emily. I appreciate that. Would you ever consider doing a little vlog? Um, I mean, the closest to vlogs that I do right now are my what I eat in the days. But if you guys are actually talking about what I do for my day-to-day -day life, sure. Do you ever plan uh, going from somewhere different in Memphis? Um, it kind of depends on, say, if we do move, move in the future. It's like, not to say we're not going to move, but we don't know yet. McDonald's versus Five Guys versus... <laughs> I sadly couldn't do that because a lot of those restaurants we don't have in Memphis. We just, we don't even have Jack in the Box either. What is your favorite Mike Bonner ISM artist? Um, personally, for me, I like everybody. I don't particularly have a favorite one. Like, I like um, a lot of the Korean ones. I like, um, you know, TC, ASMR, um, Barton Fresh. Um, what was that guy? But yeah, I, I like a lot of them. I don't particularly have like a favorite Mike Bonnie Smarts. I think they all do an amazing job of what they do. 
So I got one more. What is one quote that I think is very cheesy? I personally can't even think of that right now. <laughs> That was good. But yeah, guys, it is so hot in here today. Oh, hot outside. <laughs> that ranch was good, but it gets everywhere. So your favorite Indian dish, butter chicken, chicken tikka masala. I like any anything Indian food. They have a favorite brand of ketchup. I like, um, let's see, Heinz. I never ate my pizza with ranch dressing until I saw you and Chuck doing it. <laughs> well, he actually didn't start eating his pizzas with ranch either until he saw me doing it. So, yeah. Have you ever tried uh, Olive Garden? Yes, I have. I tried their spaghetti, and um, I think I've tried their alfredo, but I'm not sure. So I'm done, by the way. That was good food. Absolutely good. Absolutely good. Have you ever had, had golgapi? Um, I guess that's how you say it. Um, I have heard of that dish, but I've never had it. What time is it in Memphis? It's noon. Um, hi, Daniel. Is Chuck a thigh or a breast man? Which he, I feel like he's more of the chicken breast type. He likes um, the lighter meat. He doesn't like the dark meat when it comes to chicken. But I think he likes the chicken breast a bit more. Oh, cool, Sheila. Well, yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up because uh, tell us a naughty joke. No. <laughs> absolutely like i nah but i'm gonna go ahead and turn off the live stream for today um hope you guys enjoyed this little video um we'll be back in two weeks again for another live stream you guys like can give us some ideas in the comment section what we should do for the next live stream because um you know we'll willing to like try anything get anything so yeah <laughs> But, um, but yeah, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see y'all later. <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoyed this, and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Stay happy, stay healthy, and most of all, love one another. Absolutely love one another. So, peace out. Love you guys. Bye.